Account icons are a great way to represent your identity in brawls. They're also one of the simplest forms of workshop item. Let's take a look at how to create one. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to use this logo just as an example, but remember, when you're making a workshop item, you want it to be appealing. It should be cool, funny, interesting, whatever, but be creative as possible. And one of the really important things is make sure it's original content. You can't just take an image off the web and cut it up and paste it into an icon and call it yours. Before we begin, we need to set up the mod folder for this workshop item. This is done in the model viewer. So start up the model viewer, hit this button here, and give it a name. I'm just going to call it my icon. This is not this is the internal name. It's not what the user is going to see. You can rename that later. So we're going to create the mod, and that's pretty much all we need to do. So close the model viewer and then browse to your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Brawl of Ages folder, and you'll see a mods folder. And what that did is it created a My Icon folder. This is setting up your mod for you. It also put an XML configuration file. This is where all your files are going to go later once we're finished editing them. Aside from the creative part, this is the easiest workshop item to make. I already created a little simple Photoshop template, which you can find by going to open Brawl of Ages starter kit reference, and then you'll see an icon underscore template PSD file. So open that up. Once you open that up, you'll see it has two layers. It has a background layer, that's just where you can put your artwork, and a bevel layer, which has some, has some simple effects on it. That just creates the bevel, and that'll make sure all the icons have a uni uniform feel. It also has a pre-made alpha channel, which is important also. Okay, I moved the template side by side just so it's easier to kind of see what's going on. I'm just going to select my artwork. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go over to the template. I'm going to make sure I'm on my bottom layer. You want to make sure you're under the bevel effect, and I'm just going to paste it on there and scale it into position. Maybe something like that. Nudge it a little bit, and that's it. As you can see, I got my bevel effect on top. You can turn that on and off just to see what it does. And I still got my alpha channel. I'm just going to need to save this out now. So we're going to go File, Save As. I'm going to browse to the Brawl of Ages folder in Steam, Mods, My Icon. And now it's important we need to switch this to TGA. And let's just call it um, MyIcon.TGA. Got to make sure that 32 bits per pixel is selected, that's going to make sure the alpha channel exports and hit OK. Now we got to do one more thing, which is save one more copy, save as. Now we're going to switch this to PNG, go back to our folder again, mods my icon, and we're going to save this one at preview.png. This is what the users are going to see when they view it in the Steam Workshop. Okay, let's finalize this item. So open up the model viewer, switch the mod folder to your folder. It should show you the preview icon right here that you made. And don't hit this update preview. That's for doing things like dies and gear sets. It's gonna that basically takes a screenshot of the model viewer. So again, don't hit that. So let's uh, change the title to let's say puzzle box icon. Make sure to hit enter in this window. And the type we want to switch it to an icon and upload mod. Once you click that, you gotta wait for this little dialog. And successfully uploaded. <clears throat> okay, now you can hit this view in Steam button right here and your icon will show up. This is where you can edit things like the title and description. You know, we already named it puzzle box icon, but you can do description here. Save that, back to your item. And pretty much all you need to do to make it live is you gotta change visibility to public. And that's it. And now other users can see it and vote on it. And you, and you can get your item in the game. 